Joining me now is, of course, our very popular celebrity chef, Charmaine Broughton from In Char's Kitchen. Uh, Charmaine, first of all, Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to you, James, and to all the amazing, amazing uh, In Char's Kitchen and your TV viewers. Look, uh, you've got quite a spread in front of you right now, and I, I, uh, I feel like you've got quite a bit to share with us. So let's get right into it, Charmaine. We've got Christmas coming up. It's the time of indulgence, uh, and clearly, um, what you've got there looks like it would be quite indulgent. So tell me a bit about uh, what people should maybe look at making over the Christmas holiday. Well, what I have here is some fab, I mean, they're, you know, you can um, indulge in them yourself, but also some really neat gift from the kitchen ideas. Uh, because, you know, I think this year more than ever, I think neighbors and friends and maybe grandparents or perhaps um, you know, your grocery store clerk or courier might really appreciate a homemade gift from the kitchen because I find it will be like an act of kindness as well. And I think this year more than ever, we all need to be a little bit kinder. And um, I think, you know, people working on our front lines will really appreciate it. So maybe surprise the, the clerk at the grocery store or your letter carrier or your courier with maybe some double-decker peanut butter fudge. <laughs> in true Inchar's Kitchen fashion, it uses nothing but pantry staple items. Okay. And, you know, grab the kids, get in the kitchen, roll out your sleeves, have some fun. Whether you're gifting these to somebody else or maybe you just want to enjoy them over the holidays, they're um, super easy to prepare. Um, it, again, uses pantry staple items. And, uh, yeah, just an excuse to get in the kitchen and have a little bit of fun. I also have some peanut butter swirl bark Ooh. with some dried cherries and orange zest. So for the viewers that watch In Char's Kitchen, you know how much I love to utilize the zest of fruit, especially oranges this time of year. It just adds a, a burst of flavor and a real oomph to this bark. Um, so you can go to my website, charmybroughton.com, for all of the um, fabulous recipes. Should I keep going? I've got more ideas. Well, Charmaine, I, I have one question for you that I think all our viewers have because we everyone has that sort of Christmas treat that you make, right? Like there's a traditional food that you make at Christmas. And I think everyone yeah. is curious what yours is. What, what does your family get to indulge in at Christmas from Charmaine's Kitchen? Uh, to be truthful, I keep it pretty traditional. Shortbread cookies. Um, they're a favorite of ours, I and my kids. Um, I like to take a traditional recipe and I like to add some orange zest and chopped fresh rosemary. Um, so it is a sweet cookie, but the depth of flavor from the rosemary just adds a little bit of oomph to it. And it's quite lovely and my kids absolutely gobble them up. Something that I normally make every year, but I didn't this year, um, and I'm kind of regretting it, is I usually make fruitcake. I love it. Oh, I love fruitcake. Um, my kids were young, they're older now, but one of their very favorite things to do was brush the, because you know, you want to make it about a month and a half before Christmas. And one of my kids' very favorite things to do was uh, brush the fruitcake with rum and brandy. Oh, that sounds amazing. Fruitcake yeah, is actually they, one they of my- about, you know, they were, each little cake was about half my weight, but it was worth every single <laughs> calorie and every single memory. Mm -hmm. Fruitcake is one of my guilty pleasures. I know there is a real divide on fruitcake, uh, but I actually really like fruitcake a lot. So I'm there with you. Um, I'm with you. I absolutely, I love a good fruitcake. There's nothing, there to me, there's nothing, nothing screams Christmas like a really good fruitcake. Oh, 100%. I totally agree with that. Charmaine, um, I know we've got a lot of goodies and stuff there, but I did kind of want to talk to you about what this year has been like for you because you've done a great, you've done amazing work for, um, you know, Inshar's Kitchen. We had a few episodes of uh, Quarantine Edition where um, you were pretty much on your own. What was that like? Uh, you know, because we, we really had to kind of be careful in terms of um, how we were, um, you know, conducting our business with you. And, and But we will still wanted to bring the, the joy of Charmaine. So what was that like for you? Uh, it was it was great. I mean, you know, I got to do my thing in my kitchen and we were all, you know, safe. Uh, because, you know, there was no crew here. It was just myself. It was it was great. And, you know, I say it on all in Char's Kitchen, my goal is really just to inspire people to get in the kitchen and recreate delicious recipes. And what I really hope that I did with the quarantine edition was just prove to you how delicious 
Um, you can make food using things that you have in your pantry. Uh, you know, those tuna melts were absolutely delicious. And many people have messaged me saying, oh, that was like a game changer. Um, I did a, a Char's Clustery Spice Granola, which I have here as well, which also makes a great uh, gift from the kitchen. So um, I think if, if it's done anything, I really hope that, uh, you know, my message to always have a well-stocked pantry uh, you know, people will take that, you know, moving forward, even beyond COVID of having a well-stocked pantry. And then you can always recreate delicious recipes. And Charmaine, I think, you know, it's it's um, fair to say that you, you have brought a lot of um, joy and um, fun to people that were kind of stuck indoors quite a lot during this time. How does it feel, I guess, being connect, being able to connect with people through your TV and, and to, to bring this sort of light in the darkness of, of being stuck inside through COVID? Oh, I, it, I'm actually getting choked up. It honestly, it's it, a dream come true. I've got shivers. Thank you so much. Again, my whole goal has always just been to inspire people to get in the kitchen. And I am so grateful that I have this platform. Uh, and you know, when people stop me at the grocery store or even a man the other day, I was out of my walk, he drove by and he screamed at his car window, I love your show. That just brings me such a tremendous amount of joy. And I think, you know, really our whole goal on this planet is to just, um, you know, help inspire people in whatever way your, it, with whatever your gift is. And if my gift is inspiring people to get in the kitchen and cook and people are actually doing that, my life is complete. I am so grateful um, and I'm just so blessed that I have this this platform to share my absolute passion with amazing, amazing viewers. Well, Charmaine, uh, we want to say thank you for all your hard work and uh, really looking forward to 2021. And we've got some things cooking uh, quote unquote, in the kitchen. So uh, we we'll look forward to seeing what comes out from that. But and we're also just looking forward to more chats and chews on Insurance Kitchen. So thank you again. And of course, Merry Christmas. And uh, just to mention again that Charmaine's recipes are available on our website. You want to give that a tease one more time, Charmaine? Yeah, so it's charmainebrown.com for all of these fabulous gifts from the kitchen um, ideas or gifts for yourself.